Life Leisure uh, were successful um, in getting funding from Sport England uh, and lottery funding for a project called A Wish I Tried. Um, the whole project is uh, running for three years and it's worth 250,000. And the whole emphasis behind it is to provide a provision for adults aged 25 and older uh, to take part in sport and physical activity across the whole borough of Stockport. Sessions start from uh, one pound per session. Uh, there are certain incentives there to encourage people to come along to the session continuously. Uh, there's lots of varied kind of sport and physical activity, anything from badminton to netball to zumba to walking football. Uh, so the different sort of variety uh, hopefully appeals to a lot of adults who would like to take part in, in sport. Um, the whole project itself uh, is aimed towards those who are inactive and this is kind of sort of um, described as being those who do less than 30 minutes of exercise per week. So it's, it's part of my challenge and, and part of the project's challenge to engage with those adults um, to provide provision that will be enjoyable, um, something that's close to them, um, something that uh, is it's on, you know, on a big social side to it as well. Um, because people want to go along to sessions and they want to see some of their friends, they might want to make new friends. Um, ultimately, a lot of other people just want um, sort of personal goals, so they, they want to get more active, um, they want to improve the skill at the sport. But the, the whole, one of the biggest barriers that I've noticed is that um, there, there are a lot of sort of maybe sports clubs and, and uh, certain sort of uh, places that people go to where they feel quite intimidated by people who are, you know, have a bit more expertise in the sport. So they want to go to somewhere that, where there's a lot less pressure to join in uh, the sport and physical activity. Um, and they, they tend to feel a lot more welcome as well when, when they go into such a setting. Um, people want to take People who um, would like to take part in the sport and exercise um, and that are more than welcome to are those who are beginners to the sport, those who would like to try something new uh, and those who haven't played it for a long time as well. Um, an example of that is we've had a couple of gentlemen who come to the walking football who haven't played it for, um, uh, for 20 years uh, and someone who'd said they'd not played it for 42 years, football itself. So, it shows that there is a need there and, and it has a huge impact on people in the, in the community. Um, one of the biggest sort of aims for the project as well is to, to reduce health inequalities across the borough. Um, we found that a lot of people joining in with the project already have, have had huge sort of physical and also mental sort of health benefits from, from the project. Um, I've met people who have said that um, they have suffered from depression before and, and anxiety issues, but this has really given them the confidence uh, to come along and come into a, a different setting for them um, and, to, and, and to enjoy it with people they haven't met before uh, and feel very comfortable in that, in that environment. Um, and that kind of shows how rewarding it can be for people. Uh, and, for the people who sort of deliver the projects as well, because we know that we're achieving what, what we set out to achieve as well. Um, so th there's a very big, a, a very big sort of emphasis to, to try and engage with people who wouldn't usually, uh, who wouldn't usually go down to a gym or go down to a community centre or an outdoor space to come and take part in. Um, in, in such sort of you know a, a low pressure kind of environment um, and just have a lot of fun. And then looking at the shirt, just all the key words are like jumping out at me and it's yeah. like a script almost. Get, like, get active at your own pace. That's right. I know you've covered it anyway, but... Yeah, there's a lot of um, positive mes messages that we want to get out there and we want to ignore kind of all the, the things that sometimes it, it gets focused on. Um, you know, we want to improve someone's, uh, an individual's confidence, um, we want to get them active, we want them to exercise at their own pace, so it's very personal to a lot of people. Um, it very much invites 
people um, of different abilities as well. Uh, and, and that's key because um, someone can come in who might be quite active, um, but they might be learning a new skill in a sport. Uh, there might be people who aren't that active who, who want to just improve, kind of, uh, you know, and lo maybe lose some weight um, and reduce stress. Uh, so people come in for many different reasons and we want to make sure we accommodate for all those different reasons that people have. Um, and we can see the benefits from it and, and you know, hopefully there's a lot, lot more people out there who want to engage in it and that we want to welcome um, uh, with open arms. All right.